It's so funny how when you're a mom, you just kind of tune that out like you get used to it. Yeah. Like it wouldn't even phase me. I didn't even notice. Okay, Okay, I wanted to share with you guys the glory that I picked up at that church for us still, so let me get these bags open. Okay, first up, we have this kind of like an animal print necklace with some wood beads. It's almost like a horn or something, but the beads holding it. That one's really tribal and interesting. Definitely a statement piece. And then we have another wood necklace with the butterflies. They look like they're hand painted really pretty um, and then we just have a cross necklace here and that one's actually has an icing tag on it so and then these are the red beads that I got they're kind of heavy but I am not sure what stone they might be so if anybody knows be sure and let me know in the comments down below and then I got these these are also equally heavy and it looks like they're made with some hematite. And I was surprised to find that these came with the matching earrings and a matching bracelet as well. Really pretty. So let me show you a close-up of all these red beads. Okay, and then we have some gold necklaces. This one is really pretty here. It's a Monet, Monet piece. And that one is marked right here on the clasp. Monet. Um, this gold necklace here is not marked and I tested it for gold. And, um, and it's not magnetic either, but it doesn't test positive for gold. So that was a bummer. <laughs> Always hoping to find gold, but still it's really, really pretty piece. Uh, the next one, is this uh, two-tone color here. It has silver and gold mixed in together. And this one's definitely vintage. Let me get, show you guys the hang tag on it. Let me set it out so I can zoom in on it and show you. So this isn't the first time I've come across this hang tag. It kind of looks like an M. Actually, it's upside down right now. Oh, where'd you go? Where did you go? Oh my goodness, okay, here it is. I <laughs> couldn't find it. Okay, so it looks like an M. And this is actually Merlite, M-E-R-T-E. -E. And I'll try and insert a picture of it, uh, the hang tag that I found online so you guys can see it. But it's definitely vintage, and I'd say maybe worth 10 to $15. And then we have a pretty silver-plated cross necklace. No markings on this one. And then another vintage one, just kind of like with a fabric cord type uh, necklace on that. And this is, this pendant looks like it has maybe, I don't know, is a stained glass, some kind of print that's pressed on the glass maybe. And then that's what the back looks like. Really pretty. And then we have another gold piece. This one has some praying hands. And then that's the back. Let's see if I can zoom in. Serenity prayer on the back there. And then the last piece is just this fun little, uh, either a lobster or like um, a crawdad, crawfish necklace. That'd be fun to wear if you knew you were going to eat some crawfish or like a crawfish festival or something. So that is my jewelry guy, my jewelry haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
uh, please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite piece was. And if you're interested in buying anything, definitely let me know. I um, always love to hear from you guys. So thanks so much for watching and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody. Thank you.